Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is. Today I'm going to show you my top three best triathlons. Alright, so in at number three, which is for the swim, I'm doing one for each one. For swim, you've got to train at different paces, you've got to swim at different paces in the open water lake. So I have done a, I think I've done a triathlon. Not in a race, but you know what I mean, I've done one. And it's hard, real, real hard. To, I've done like loads of duathlons. Never done an aquathlon, but I don't really give a f damn in that. So, um, yeah, it's so much better if you can train at different paces and then swim. Since you've got to, mostly you're going to be swimming in the pool, as you all know. But when it comes, sometimes, yeah, you have, you, you don't want to be afraid of the open water on the day. So, yeah, you don't want to be afraid of the open water on the day. So if you can train a bit in open water, like when you go onto the beach, you can swim there. But you've got to always say you're around um, 10 metres off someone in the swim. All right, that 10 metres could be costly. I don't know. I've got to get back in. And they're just going at the same pace all the time. Or they're changing paces. Whichever one they're doing, you just got to go that slight of bit more. Say there's like another 500 metres left. You can catch them up in that time if you keep on going at that piece, pace. So, yeah. Right, so number two for my best is, um, so the first one, no, yeah, for the cycling even. Cycling is, it's not just, like, you got to go fast on the bike. It's the fastest out of the three sports, which means you've got to go real fast, like, actually proper pushing yourself as hard as you can. And that means, like, you need to get the right kit for cycling. You can't just, like, oh, that's gross. You can't just, like, um, ride at the same pace the entire time and it's not that fast. you still got to switch paces. you got to switch gears. What happens if you're not the strongest runner, you want to make a break? You've got to change the gear up to a hard gear and push and you've made it unless they manage to catch up. So, yeah, that's what you need to do for cycling. And plus, you've got to have good strength in your legs for the sport. Yeah, that's the main thing. You need to have good strength in your legs. You need to get aero. Get aerodynamic. So you will go so much faster. It does really help. So yeah, that... There's probably another tip. Yeah, there is actually for cycling. So another tip for cycling is just... You've always got to like try your best. I mean, you can't just go in a flat ground the entire time you've got to practice some hills so you've got to actually climb up some hills like my estate is just full of hills it's just going downhill up see you later right so the next video next video what do i mean the next tip is for running so running is you need to have a good pair of running shoes you don't can't just have like a normal pair you need to run in good shorts you got to be comfy be fast and run on a different surface if you just run tar all day long you what you you're more likely to get free unless you're running on a trail or something yeah that's it see you later bye